Hello, my name is Brady and welcome to another Geek Moment. Today we'll be looking at the Kinetis L series of microcontrollers from Freescale. This marks Freescale's latest foray into ARM-based microcontrollers. Unlike the rest of the Kinetis series which feature the Cortex M4 core, the L series features the Cortex M0 Plus core. Kinetis L MCUs are divided into three categories. The KL0 Baseline MCU, the KL1 General Purpose MCU, and the KL2 USB MCU. These range from simple 8-bit MCU pin compatible replacements to being an MCU with a full complement of peripherals and advanced features. The entire L series places energy efficiency as a priority, boasting some of the highest core mark per milliwatt benchmarks in its class. Freescale offers a couple different development platforms for getting started with the L series. The ultra low cost Freedom Development Platform features a KL2 series MCU, an OpenSDA debugging port, and drag and drop mass storage programming all in an Arduino compatible form factor. Freescale also offers a daughter card for their tower system which shares many of the same features as the Freedom Development Platform while maintaining the connectivity and flexibility of the tower system. I'm going to demonstrate the low power consumption of the Kineta Cell microcontroller. I've modified this Freedom board to accept power from two different sources. One from the USB, which I also use as a serial port to determine when the microcontroller is running. And the other is from this piezo energy harvesting unit, which I have coupled to this large speaker. When I turn on the speaker, the piezo energy harvesting unit will begin to vibrate, generating enough energy for the microcontroller to turn on. I'll now provide the speaker with a 40 hertz tone that's being amplified. Kinetis L MCUs from Freescale provide new design capabilities for entry-level applications that previously were limited by 8 or 16-bit MCUs, while maintaining the compatibility and scalability of the entire Kinetis portfolio. For users looking to update an existing design that utilizes an 8 or 16-bit MCU, or starting a new design with strict power constraints, the Kinetis L series from Freescale is an excellent choice. See you next time on another Geek Moment. Aluminum, 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 aluminum.